Diary of Wimpy Kid, Hard Luck by Jeff Kinney. The Eight Diary of a Wimpy Kid book series. Diary of Wimpy Kid, Jeff Kinney. By Diary of Wimpy Kid, Hard Luck by Jeff Kinney. Sorry for the mistake. Do Charlie. March. Monday. Mom's always saying that friends will come and go, but family is forever. Well, if that's true about the part of the family is forever, then I could be in for a very rough ride. I mean, I love my family and all, but I'm just not sure we were meant to live together. Maybe it'll be better on when we're all in different houses and only see each other on holidays. But right now, things are just a little dicey. Clip, clip. I'm, so, I'm surprised mom's always pushing the family the family message, since she and her sisters don't really get along. Maybe she thinks if she keeps repeating to me and my brothers, that will come out different. But if I were her, I wouldn't hold my breath. I think mom is just trying to make me feel better about my situation with Rowley. Anyway, Rowley's been my best friend ever since he moved into my neighborhood, but things have recently changed between us. And it's all because of a girl named Abigail. Believe me, the last person in the world I ever thought I would get that would get a good friend was Rowley. I'd always thought I'd be the one in a relationship, and Riley would be the kind of would be the guy everyone kind of felt sorry for. Greg Jr., would you like to give a hot dog to Mr. Riley? Yes, Papa. I guess I've got to give Riley some credit to actually find a girl who likes him, but I don't have to be happy about it. Back in the good old days, it was just me and Riley, and we hung out and did whatever we wanted. If we felt like blowing bubbles in our chocolate milk at lunch, then that's exactly what we did. Blah, 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 blah. But now that there's a girl in the picture, things are totally different. That's immature. Whenever, wherever, whatever, wherever Rally is, his girlfriend Abigail is, too. And even if she isn't there, it seems like she is. I I invited Rally to my house for a sleepover last weekend, so the two of us couldn't spend some time. But after about two hours of trying, but after about two hours, but after about two hours, I gave up trying to have any fun. No, you're cuter. <laughs> and when the two of them are in the same place, it's even worse. Ever since Rally and Abigail got together, it's like Rally doesn't even have his own opinions anymore. So, what did you think of that new movie? Oh, we didn't care for that one. I was hoping this would all be blow over by now, and things would have gone back to the, be all be back to normal. But there's no sign of ending of this ending anytime soon. Happy ninth and a half anniversary. Oops. Happy nine, happy nine and a half day anniversary. If you ask me, it's already gone too far. I started noticing a little changes about it. Like the way he comes is here and the clothes he wears. And I guarantee you, Abigail is behind all of this. All of it. Such this. But I'm the one who's been best friends with Riley all these years. Longer, a lot longer than Abigail. So if anyone has the right to change him, him it's me. I just don't get how he can get from being someone's best friend to getting kicked to the curb, but that's exactly what happened. During the winter, me and Riley stored up some snowballs in my freezer so we could have a snowball fight when the weather got warm. Well, yesterday was the first nice day we had in forever, but when I went over to Riley's house, he acted like he was too good for me. Sorry, we're occupied at the moment. The thing is, I can honestly say I've been nice to Abigail, but she doesn't like me. He's been trying to drive a wish between me and Riley ever since the two of them became a couple. Alright. But whenever I try to bring the topic up to Riley, I get the same answer every time, including the last time. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. I wish I could give Riley a piece of my mind, but I can't. Because I'm depending on him to get me to school year. I have Mr. Blakely for English, and he makes us turn in all our assignments, assi- assignments in cursive. But it it's really hurt. But it really hurts my hand when I write in cursive for too long. I've been paying Riley round one peanut butter cracker for every page that he that he try transcribes for me. Right, 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 right. But if I have to start writing my own assignments, the handwriting on on my homework won't be the same as before. And Mr. Blankley will know. So I'm stuck with Riley. At least until I can find someone who can write exactly who can exactly like him, and who also likes peanut butter crackers. But the biggest problem with this Abigail situation isn't the English homework. It's it's the walk to school. Me and Riley used to head in together every morning, but now Riley 
goes over to Abigail's neighborhood and to her into her house and walks into school with her. There's a there's an issue for a couple of reasons. For one, we rarely have a deal where he's in charge of scanning and have a dog poop on the sidewalk. And that arrangement has saved me a bunch of times. <gasps> Scream! Woo! This is one dog that really has it in for me and Rowdy. And we have to keep our gut up whenever we pass by his house. He's this mean, he's this mean rock weller named Rebel. And he used to get out of his yard and chase us on our way to school. Rebel... <clears throat> Rebel's owner had to install an electric fence to make sure he couldn't get loose. Now Rebel can't chase us, because if he takes one step out of his yard, he'll get a shock from his collar. Ever since me and Riley found out about Rebel's electric collar, we've been having some fun with him. Oops, looks like I dropped my sandwich. Meow, meow. But Rebel figured out that as long as the collar doesn't cross over, doesn't cross over the property line, he doesn't, he won't get shocked. And if I didn't have Riley watching out for me, I definitely would have stepped on one of Rebel's landmines by now. Alert. Alert. The other reason it stinks that Riley isn't walking with me is because with the school year winding down, the teachers have been really loading us with homework lately. That means I have to take almost all my books home with me every day. My body's not to build that kind of weight, but Riley is practically like a pack animal, so it's no problem for him. Which means he's the exact same way for all that. <sighs> paint, paint. Unfortunately, Riley's just as willing to have Abigail with her books, which makes me think the only reason she's even he, she's even with him is to use him. And as Riley's good friend, or at least we performed before, I found that a little hard to take. And I'm not sure if Riley feels the same way if he will eventually, or if he already did. <sighs> pant, pant. 